What if I tell you that the universe we're living in is not locally real? You must be thinking that I'm cracking some kind of a joke or something. But trust me, I'm not. In 2022, three physicists won the Nobel Prize for proving this point by challenging our traditional understanding of the nature of reality with concepts of quantum mechanics. Before quantum mechanics was introduced, scientists believed that they could determine everything there was about a physical system if they had certain properties of that system. However, this all changed when scientists discovered a phenomenon called quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a relatively bizarre and counterintuitive phenomenon that explains how two subatomic particles can be linked to each other even if they are billions of light years apart in space. We can better understand this with an example. Consider two entangled particles separated billions of light years apart. If one particle spins clockwise, then the other particle would instantly spin in the opposite direction, that is, counterclockwise. This characteristic of quantum entanglement has been verified by scientists and has now become a fundamental part of our understanding of quantum mechanics. The entangled quantum states challenge our classical understanding of the world. It suggests that reality is rather complex and mysterious than simple. The fact that entangled particles can instantly influence each other regardless of the distance between them has raised several questions about our understanding of time and space. By understanding quantum entanglement, we can achieve potential breakthroughs in our understanding of the laws of the universe, especially light speed. Einstein's theory of relativity suggests that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. However, if these entangled quantum states somehow instantly exchange information billions of light years apart, then it must happen at speeds thousands of times faster than the speed of light. This can help us achieve breakthroughs in fields such as telecommunications, computing and physics. If we can somehow harness the power of entangled quantum states, we can develop faster and more efficient methods of computation and communication than what we have now. The study of entangled particles would also allow us to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. This strange behavior of entangled quantum states forces us to question our current understanding of space and time, which could lead to new insights into the nature of the cosmos. This unique concept of quantum entanglement was later explained in a thought experiment by Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen called the Einstein-Podolsky-Rosen paradox in 1935. Einstein hypothesized that if one particle of the entangled quantum states is measured, then the state of the other particle can be determined instantly, regardless of the distance between them. Einstein also argued that if this happens, then it violates the principles of local realism. Local realism suggests that the physical properties of objects have definite values which cannot be transmitted faster than the speed of light. The reason that einstein podolsky rosen paradox is classified as a paradox is that it involves communication between particles that is greater than the speed of light, which directly conflicts with Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein believed that quantum physics was incomplete and that we'll someday find out the missing variables that are connecting these entangled particles. However, Three scientists, John Clauser, Alain Aspect, and Anton Zillinger in 2022 won the Nobel Prize for proving that these particles don't exist. They reached the conclusion that an entangled particle doesn't have any properties unless it is measured and thus cannot be known or guessed by any means. Defining reality is quite tricky because there are tiny particles in the universe that we cannot see, but they exist. We cannot touch the air, but it exists. So how can we properly define what's real? According to physics, real means that an object has definite properties regardless of them being measured or not. For example, if a glass breaks, it will make a sound, whether we're present there or not. On the contrary, local means that objects can only be influenced by their surroundings, and this influence can travel faster than light. Now imagine you have two identical decks of cards at your desk. You pick one, shuffle it, and then hand it to your assistant. Your assistant then takes the card to another without looking at it. You then pick up the second deck, shuffle it and place it on your table facing down. You then ask your assistant to randomly choose a card from the first without looking at it and remembering it. Suddenly, the card in your deck corresponding to your assistant's becomes entangled. Now, the card in your deck suddenly has no properties or identity of its own and is now an indeterminate card. Here comes the interesting part. 
these two cards have a distance between them and your assistant has not communicated to you or the card in your deck. Now, if your assistant measures her card, it somehow changes the identity of the entangled card in your deck. Your card now has an identical suit, number and other properties of the chosen card. You might be thinking that this is absurd or even impossible, but this happens with entangled particles in the quantum world. These particles are like the deck of cards that have no definite properties until they are measured. When the properties of one entangled particle are measured, the other one's property can be instantly determined as well. This concept has been verified time and time again with several experiments but the result has always been the same. Apart from entangled particles, there are other phenomena and elements that challenge our understanding of the nature of matter and reality. One of these elements is quasi-crystals. Unlike regular crystals that have a symmetrical structure, quasi-crystals have a non-repeating, aperiodic structure that combines features of both crystals and glasses. This unique structure of the quasi-crystals involves the arranging of shapes in a non-repeating pattern based on a mathematical principle called Penrose tiling. Quasi-crystals can be found in a variety of different applications, especially in materials. Their unique physical properties like low friction and high hardness make them perfect for use in a wide range of industrial applications. Apart from their use in the manufacturing of materials, the discovery of quasi-crystals has shown us how reality can be more complex and diverse than we previously thought. These quasi-crystals can also be used to explain a new theory of reality. Scientists took an 8D crystal and projected it to 4D at a certain angle. This 8D crystal projected at 4D was used to determine a 3D structure that scientists believed is a substructure of all reality. The fundamental building block of this structure is called a tetrahedron and is measured in Planck length which is the smallest theorized unit of length. Physicists all across the world believe that all of reality is made of information which is meaning expressed through symbols. Meaning on the other hand is the ability to perceive something relative to another and this ability requires consciousness. If information exists when we perceive or measure it and we perceive information using consciousness, can we say that reality is a product of consciousness? However, there's another idea for reality proposed by an Oxford philosopher, Nick Bostrom. Bostrom and a group of scientists believe that our reality might be a simulation created by an advanced civilization. The hypothesis is based on the assumption that an advanced civilization would be able to create a simulated universe so realistic with the help of infinite computing power that the inhabitants living within it wouldn't be able to tell if it was a simulation or not. The simulation hypothesis is a philosophical and scientific idea that suggests that our reality might be a simulation created by an advanced civilization or computer program. The hypothesis is based on the assumption that if a civilization were advanced enough, it would be able to create a simulated universe that is so realistic that the inhabitants within it would not be able to tell that it is a simulation. Consciousness in this reality is explained as the brain being like a receiver or filter that receives sensory information. According to this theory, the brain doesn't have any consciousness, instead it receives it from an external source. Some people argue that sensory organs such as the eyes and ears collect information from the environment and transfer it to the brain. This information is then processed by the brain. This means that consciousness is not created by the brain, instead it is transmitted to the brain through sensory input. The discovery of the nature of reality is a topic of ongoing exploration and scientists and physicists all over the world working to uncover it. Many experiments are being conducted to study the nature of reality. Some of the more known experiments are being conducted at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. LHC is the world's largest particle accelerator and is being used to study the behavior of subatomic particles to discover the nature of reality. The simulated helium atom is a significant achievement in the field of quantum mechanics. This is a quantum computer-based model developed to simulate the behavior of a helium atom. This provided researchers insights into the interaction between the electrons in the helium atom which would help us better understand the nature of reality.